Okay, Arjun, kicking off turn number eight. So, Arjun is at two hit points, and he was slowed down last turn. But he can, now this got shuffled around, but it was definitely there. He can move to the, to the token in this turn, and that's very good. Uh, well, for one thing, if we kill the skeleton and get the token, the game's over. So let's first of all try to kill the skeleton. And we will just throw everything we have at it at this point. Um, I mean, yeah, we might as well just really go for it. I, I kind of wish now I'd flipped this thing over and got the two hit points back. But uh, Arjun's going to attack the skeleton with the precise strike. It's overkill, but at this point, all we have to do is kill the skeleton and get the icon and the game's over. So so it's it, let this this makes sense. So let's uh attack with a plus 11. Skeleton has a 16, so we do need to roll pretty high, but we have two lucky charms, so we should between three rolls be able to hit this thing. So roll number 1. So it's an 11, so we hit it. So 11 plus 11 with that precise strike is more than enough to take down the skeleton. We could have used one of these. In fact, I now that I think about it, I and I see that I had these lucky charms, I wouldn't have bothered wasting that, but it, it doesn't matter. So the skeleton goes down. So we get the experience for the skeleton. And do we have enough to cancel an encounter? It shouldn't matter because we shouldn't have any more encounters. So the skeleton goes down. Uh, he gets to draw a treasure for killing the skeleton. And he gets a plus one bonus to AC while this is in play. So our Arjun's AC is now 18. Although do we want to give that to Alyssa? No, we'll keep it. So let's update. So he didn't use a surge. He attacked, he killed, got the treasure. Now he's going to move. And he is slowed, but he can move two spaces, which is just enough. One two to put him next to the icon of Ravenloft. So when that happens, he picks up the icon. He ends his hero phase, so that means the slowed is gone. And at the end of his hero phase, he picks up the icon of Ravenloft and takes it. When he takes that, he also gets the icon of Ravenloft treasure item. And we'll look at that in a second. So, and I forgot to read this when the thing was revealed, but when the chapel is revealed, you're supposed to read, uh, the chamber ahead glows with the light of faith and goodness. On the pristine altar, an ancient platinum medallion shaped like the sun with a large crystal embedded in its center waits to be collected. Unfortunately, the chamber isn't empty. Some monsters stand guard as though they were waiting for you to arrive. So I forgot to read that. But uh, once the uh, hero ends his or her hero face next to the icon of Ravenloft, they can pick it up. So you give the icon of Ravenloft treasure card and token to that hero, which I've done. I've given the icon to Arjun, and he has this treasure. And uh, I guess you have to use this during your hero phase, so I guess maybe he wouldn't be able to use this. Well, I can give it to Alyssa. Um... Well, I don't know if you can, because it's technically not a regular treasure item. This is an adventure treasure. But it doesn't matter. We won the game, which is incredible to me, because this is like the sixth or seventh time I've played this game in just the last week, this adventure, and I've never won, because <laughs> this game is just super brutal. But if you read this card, basically, we would be able to gain some more hit points and so on and so on. But none of that really matters, because, again, you don't have to kill all the monsters that are out on the table. You just have to kill the ones that spawned on the chapel. We have done that, and we've done it within our uh, quota of two surge tokens. So I am happy to take this as a victory. Believe me, I am happy to take this as a fine, as finely as a victory. I've played this adventure so many times.